Welcome back, guys. It's another week. It's another night um, here at the Batty Playhouse. It's open, and I'm one of your first hosts, Herbert. Jonathan. Enrique. And Ronnie. And, um... You I know what? I can't even talk about this hike, so you go ahead. Take it, take it, Herbert, because um, I was in there. This was... The past hike we did was Wisdom Tree to Mount Lee. Yes. yes. Mount Lee. And um, this was a special one because uh, Jonathan, our CEO, Captain... Um, was not there. Sadly, he was not there. But um, thankfully, everyone had a great time, and it was a lot of fun. And to be honest, you should stay. You should um, not go to more. To be honest, so just stay away from hikes. Stay away from the whole group. Actually, so. wait, are we firing him right now? I thought we we're gonna do that next week. <laughs> oh yeah, we had a we had a prior stock uh, a stockholder meeting. You were yeah, yeah, this, you're is right a, this is a mutiny. I'm sorry. Well, ever <laughs> since I came back though, after the after you know you guys posted that post, thank you guys for posting the happy birthday post. Oh yeah, um, I don't know, man. Our stock our stock went up. I'm gonna say I'm gonna be honest with you. Our stock went up, and and we're doing good, bro. So I don't know what you're, what you're talking about, Herbert. I think we're gonna fire you because we don't need HR anymore. <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. Dude, no one. You don't even get emails. You don't even respond to emails. He does sometimes. I no, see him. Yeah, I do. He sometimes opens. Do you them. know the password for the email? I gave it to you. <laughs> what do you mean? What is it? Say it. No, just say it. Don't say uh, it. Yeah, what is it? Like say. Baddies one two three or something? Baddies it's one, it's two, actually three. close. It's actually <laughs> close. I'm not gonna it's lie. Like, it's close. It's Baddie, Baddie's, yeah. Baddie's sixty nine because that's our favorite number. But uh, going with the stats though for the night hike, um, give the stats, Enrique. Yeah, Enrique. Well, for this hike, um, we didn't take the full loop. Where like if you find it on all trails, then <laughs> then you're gonna see that it's it's a, it has a bigger loop option. But we didn't do that. We we only did it close to three point five miles, like three point two, and we had like a one thousand two hundred feet elevation Ooh. gain. Which was a little challenging, but I think everyone had a really good time. It was kind of fun going through the rock scrambling. And then at, at the end, right in front of the Hollywood sign, you did like a little U turn to go through a little bit higher than that little ass and that little hill. I think everyone enjoyed that little turn there. Everyone was saying how they were happy to be up there. And I saw that you guys didn't tell people that they were gonna do some rock scrambling. And I saw the video. We mentioned a couple of things a couple of times, but I think a couple of people were didn't. Like no, honestly, uh, okay, that caught me by surprise. Yeah, I only looked at I only looked at like satellite like footage <laughs> on Google before going. <laughs> so I, I saw a straight like straight shot. You know, I was like, oh, okay, it's cool. But then no, dude, it was like, it was yeah. wild. It w- it was fun though. It was a little bumpy, but I, th- I think everyone was able to do it. Like it, mm-hmm. it, it wasn't impossible to have a little like rock scrambling. <clears throat> it, it was it was manageable for any anybody. Yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah. Wait, who recorded? We all uh, did. Yeah, I recorded a little bit. I think Ronnie did it and Ricky. Did you record? No, I did not. Ricky C- doesn't Caesar have. got some footage too. Okay. Yeah. We all took a little bit. Well, part. you guys did good. Um, congrats on that, guys. It was a good turnout. And I know a lot of good reviews came out of it, right? People liked it. Mm-hmm. Um, was it a lot of people's first time? I know um, there's some newcomers, right? Yeah, like it was a lot of people's yeah. first time. First time night hiking too, actually. So that was fun. Um, you, did, you guys just had to worry about the coming back before the 9 p.m. mark? Yes. Which we did it good. Once we got to the top of the of, of like right back to the Hollywood sign, we we only stayed there like ten minutes at most. Like we, we we wanted to do like five, but we're just trying to keep it quick, just so we can start heading down. Mm-hmm. And we actually got down like with 15, 20 minutes to spare. Yeah, it was so, eight forty five. Like yeah, well, it was perfect lot. timing to get down. Who, who got down first? Because I know Enrique likes to get down on people. Wow, well, uh, I was actually act- the last one to go down, but that's not what I brought down. I came down with people. Not no, actually, people. it wasn't even none of us. They, some people took off prior to us. Also, uh, they left. Yeah. The guys. I think they, they were just, just worried about. They were just a little too worried about getting a ticket or whatever. We won't say yeah. names. We won't say names because we love everybody. But uh, uh, it was Kristen, Kristen Vanessa. Vanessa. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I hikers, we immediately <laughs> <laughs> It's like unfollow them on Instagram, please. Omar <laughs> and should. Edwin too. They left no. early. Well, they had a they had a four by four by forty eight. It sounds like an in and out challenge, but it was a David Goggins <laughs> challenge. So. <laughs> Props to everybody that did that challenge out there. And I know mm-hmm. you guys got some cool footage of him running the David Goggins. Um, we sound like him, though. I'm going to be honest. We were motivated. We were motivators. The next thing baddies want to do is write a book. And I think Herbert might be able to write a book, right, Herbert? Yeah, he's going to be in the cover. No, well, he could write the whole thing. I just want to, like, you know, in the book, they always have a picture of the author. Sometimes they have a picture of the author. Black and uh, white? Yeah, black and white. I want to wear, like, wear a, like, a really nice like a turtleneck. Black, a turtleneck. Yeah. And, like, I have glasses, even though I don't need them. I want the whole thing. The whole shebang. The whole shebang. The whole shebang. Damn. You're going to look like a serial killer. Hey, uh, but, a hot, but a hot one. Oh, okay. True. That's the difference. So That's for that night hike, though, real quick, I was in there. So was it raining or any sprinkle, anything like that? No? Drive, driving there, yeah. Oh, driving there? Oh, yeah, we, we took off here from Susan. It was, what? It was like sprinkling a little bit. Very little. Very yeah, little. it was probably raining. But guess what? I think that... caused like major traffic, though. No, no. no that stop. little rain. Oh, that's... <laughs> bro. We hopped on the 210 and it was like... But to nut the whole time, man, like, 
bumper to bumper uh, traffic. What time do you guys have to meet up? Six. Six. Six o'clock. Six fifteen. I think you guys left the house at six. No, 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 we didn't. Just no, start. I think you guys. We got there a couple minutes late. We were b- before the starting time that we have set out. Um, but um, we had one of the baddies there, Caesar, who arranged everyone to gather up. So that was cool. Mm-hmm. And then we started. Everyone had a fantastic time. We started on time. We 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 got to the cars on time. Everyone had a great time. How are you guys doing yes. with the stickers? Because I know you guys passed out a lot of stickers. I right? took away all my stickers and then gave them all out. All right, I still we- have. A good amount, like a decent. Her- Herbert, next hike. why are you stealing stickers? Aren't, aren't you supposed to be stealing hearts instead? Oh. I, I paid for these. <laughs> oh. okay? okay? All right, sorry. I have the right to give out as many as I, <laughs> I want, to be honest. We're like, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, you went on that, Herbert. I won't fight you for that, but. I will, but later. Oh, um. so, Jonathan, how was your birthday? Oh, it was great, oh, man. Oh, yeah, you're so like, what, the, like 92? No, no. I'm a, said, yeah. Everybody always asks like how old we are, but like the baddies are 20, 21. You know, we just turned twenty one. Like finally we could drink. So if you see us at at a peak and we're drunk, like it's because if, we're if you see us with the beer at Chuck E. Cheese, then you know it's because we're twenty one. <laughs> but uh, no, it was great. Uh, I ended up hiking to the uh, Bad Bunny concert. Um, oh, I was crazy. going up and down the stairs because you know I had to go get um, refuel, um, some alcohol beverages. You should have posted tw- the peak, dude. You posted oh, dude, it. I actually have video video footage, and I, I was gonna post it. The whole line of like people going in, and I was like, "Oh, like how like how busy the baddie hacks." Because like, I was gonna put that on the reel, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna put it on the reel, but I didn't. But yeah, Bad Bunny. Um, Should have. Whoever likes Bad Bunny out there, and whoever doesn't like Bad Bunny, like I think he's a good performer, and uh, you should go see him. It's really turn. You probably uh, <laughs> you probably work out harder. Like you probably sweat. I think I sweated more than you guys, and I burned what? more calories. Was it because you were perreando sola? Mm, maybe. Um, I should have taken. What does that mean in English for those of you that don't know? Perreando uh, sola. That, that means doggy, dancing by yourself. Dancing doggy, doggy. What the fuck? Pe- perro? Perreando? No, but that's that's not like, that's like slang for like. Uh, I think I think it's like turning up, no? Yeah, yeah. that's, that's a nice way to put it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess, I guess, yeah. So no, but yeah, he did a good performance. Everybody was turned. Like I think the whole like the whole um, concert, like everybody was like, yeah, turned. Did you give Bad Bunny a sticker or no? He didn't let me. Wow, dude. He had too many um, uh, yeah, uh, what is it, security and all that. So I mm-hmm. couldn't get through. I know. I, I wanted him you to didn't go tell to him who you were. What? You didn't tell him who you were. Like, you should, hey, excuse you. Do you know who I am? I'm hey. from the LA Baddies. Yeah, in Spanish now. Like, hey, Benito. Yeah. Hey, Benito, Benito soy? Aquí estoy. Aquí estoy. Aquí estoy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yo soy de los Baddies. Los yeah, LA yeah, Baddies. Yeah, yeah. Los de Los Angeles. Um, no, but no, I, I should have given him a sticker, though. I'll be, I'll be dope. Imagine. Fuck. We would have gotten famous, but no. Uh, it was it was awesome, though. It was a good birthday. Um, and then another thing that, you know, every time we go travel somewhere, we're up in San Jose. I ended up going to the Bixie, uh, uh, the Bixie, uh, what is it called? The bridge. Uh, that's popular. Like everybody posts it. I, I'm, I'm probably am going to drop a reel about it because it's pretty nice out there. And then uh, that was my first time out there in Monterey, <laughs> in Monterey Bay. So, and then the clam chowder, though, the clam chowder was so good because the weather was cold. And if you never had clam chowder, I recommend you to try it. At a, like when you go up north, because uh, that's really popular. Uh, so yeah, so it was it was pretty cool. It was a good turnout. Um, I wish you guys were all there, but guess what? Nah, you guys were si- you guys were hiking. Wow. I want to die hot. If you what? die right now, you're gonna do. I want to die with the six pack. Like to be honest. Oh, I don't know about that one, but <laughs> wait, wh- 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 that's random. Wait, that's random. Random. Yeah, <laughs> I was just thinking of that. Where did that come from? I, I was know, just like, thinking, thinking about Bad Bunny shirtless. Or yeah, what? you were, huh? You got, your mouth got all watery. Yeah, the bad your decent lip. looking guy. He's, he's, he's all right. No, nah, he he was he did a good performance. But um, yeah, going going away from Bad Bunny <laughs> though, um, I was able to come back right alive, uh, like everybody. And um, uh, one thing that we have planned for this week, we still have our runs, right? Our weekly runs on mm-hmm. Thursdays. Uh, as you can see, we sometimes we run like other days, but that's just us, the baddies, just doing ourselves, uh, like doing some sprints or some training. Uh, but we are going to have our weekly runs. Um, this run is, we already have it. Like it's a, it's a four mile loop. So join us if you haven't, uh, it's pretty awesome at night on Thursdays. And then, uh, we do have something planned though. We have strawberry peak on Sunday, March 13th. If you can make it, make it. If you can't, then, you know, go on to the next one, but it is a peak. So it's harder than Jones peak. I'm going to be honest with you. So be prepared. Uh, make sure that you're. Uh, I don't know, stretching, eating good, carving it up. Uh, when I say carving it up, like make sure that even if you take some snacks. So a lot of people ask like, what snacks should I take? Take something that will fill you up for a while. Right, Herbert? Yeah. Because I know you, wait, didn't you pass some snacks in the last hike? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, that. people really enjoy that. So I, yeah, I, I, I'm kind of like, 
I'm gonna buy snacks every time because people actually really like really happy and was like, oh my god, yeah, I want Oreos. What? Like I brought like random snacks like Oreos, like Oreos. protein bars. People, well, people, yeah, they were gone, dude. I, I brought mean, like five. I think any, everybody likes free stuff, so people, yeah, come on, they're sweets. Everyone like have a good time. Like I want to pass that. So I'm gonna keep bringing snacks, and yeah, people are gonna keep taking them. Well, especially if it's if it's like the longer hikes. This one we have rated as hard, right? Um, it's not to scare people away, but at the same time, it is to make sure people are aware of this. It is 7.2 miles long and it's like almost close to 2000 feet elevation. So just be aware of that guys, just because, you know, um, I think it's important to and, know. And bring your strawberries. If you, uh, is strawberry in season right now? You guys know? Strawberries, strawberries are uh, in season. I think, yeah, there's, so bring strawberries and like give, give them away. Actually, that's the thing that you should do instead of snacks. I'm not giving away any strawberries. There's mine. Why not? Because there's, I like strawberries. This is one of the things I won't give away, to be honest. Can you give I'll it like give a away grapes? No, fr- like strawberries are one of the top tier fruits, to be honest. So I'm not. No, they're anything. not. They're top tier. I think mango is the top tier, but uh, you don't know what you're talking about. You're high. You're on drugs. People don't know this, but Jonathan is a drug addict. No, I'm not a drug addict. <laughs> <laughs> I'm high. I'm high up life, right? I'm always <laughs> no, high. No, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll 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 put some like strawberry. I'll give some strawberries away. I guess. I think we should take some strawberries. I, I don't know if it's in season, so we got to go check, right? Go check. Go check your local uh, grocery stores. I mean, every time I get them, they're kind of always sweet. So, I mean. Uh, oh, wait, am I sweet? Like the baddies? No. <laughs> strawberries are different. I wouldn't pack you guys. Actually, I would hand you guys off. Wait, I what? You'd, you'd give us away? Yeah, 100%. To like who? for free or like do you Anybody. think I'm worth You don't think I'm worth anything. You just hand me away. <laughs> I would hand you guys away 100%. Oh, that's crazy. Damn. I'm down though. Wow. <laughs> please bring strawberries because I'm not trying to be handed away. Uh, Ronnie, please. I wouldn't give Ronnie away. Why he's too Why? good looking? Yeah, he's too. He's too. Like he's dude. You can't hey, just give me away. You gotta I like, can't. Yeah. Ronnie, Ronnie. If if someone takes him, like if someone tells him, "Hey, let's go running," he wouldn't even want to run. Let's go working out. He <laughs> wouldn't even want to work out. He has so many good oh, excuses. Oh my knee, my knee hurts. <laughs> but that's Ronnie. That like my, my knee, my knee does hurt though. Isn't that one real? Yeah. So if your knee hurts, so what should you do? You should maybe buy knee pads. Well, there it is. So next time you run, buy, buy run with some knee pads. So if you see her, uh, Ronnie running, uh, just be like, "Hey, bro, wear your knee pads." You have some. I actually did have a knee sleeve on last time. No Mm. wonder. No wonder. It still hurt. (laughs) It still hurt. I don't know. I don't know what it is. We're talking about that earlier. I think it's like my shoes. I think it's going to come down to the shoes. I think think, uh, he bought Skechers. (laughs) Nothing wrong with Skechers. I think it was like Bayless, actually. Airwalks. I think he got Airwalks. But uh, but yeah. So uh, real quick though, so I I just got a random text right now. Someone said uh, we got three K. Caesar Caesar just said we hit three K. Congratulations, you. guys! Thank you so much for the followers. Though I appreciate every th- every single one of you. We see you guys like we act like we don't, but like there's four of us that have the page right. Us baddies have the page, so we look through it and we see who's um who's following us, yeah. who's reposting us, right? Well, speaking of people that we follow and people that talk about us and people that Marisol. post us and stuff, Marisol, yeah, that's what I was going at. Whatever. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, thank you, Marisol, for like she binge watch or binge listen. Or a lot of people did that. No, like we have a lot of people who listen, but she's the one who actually lets us know that she does listen. She, she comments, input, you know. Yeah, she's like she. I think she really like kind of knows us at this point because. But we never met her, and she always says, "Um, Jonathan, stop saying real quick." I I, I was saying real. No, quick. No, she said Jonathan, stop talking. Yeah, I think dude, that's what I, she I said. I think I remember her saying stop talking, yeah. yeah. I think I heard, like, go back to San Jose. She's dude. like, oh, you should have more birthdays because uh, <laughs> it's like everyone had a great time when you weren't around. Uh, that's what I remember. I don't know. She said that 100%. Mm-hmm. No, she didn't. She said that. No, she didn't. <laughs> she emailed me. I got, like, I got receipts, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> Damn, you see, you see guys, these are all hate haters. I'm just nah, saying. No. Nah, haters gonna hate. Hey, actually, if hater <laughs> if haters gonna hate, you know, they just they then you appreciate, right? Or something like that. They, no, they but hate uh, us, they hate us because they ain't us. Yeah, that's true. Anus? But no, th- hey, going going, <laughs> <Anus? laughs> no, going back to Marisol, though, yeah, I saw the message. Uh we all saw it at the same time mm-hmm. and we're like, damn, like you do pay attention to our podcast. Yeah. And I'm happy. Uh we do give inform- information, like, you know, good information on hikes, but we also like to mess around, you know, have a little you know, have a little good time here talking to you guys. Uh, but um, I wish, yeah, I don't know when you're going to join us, but when you do join us, like, I don't know, man. Like, you got to tell us about your whole life because you know us <laughs> really <laughs> well. Yeah, seriously. She's going to see us and, like, like know us, know us. And we're going to be like, hi, hey, like, like you know, like, I don't know. Like, we haven't yeah. met her. Like, I want to meet her. No, yeah, know? it'll be cool. I, I mean, I, I was the one that was, like, DMing here. I was like, hey, like, the only thing we're missing is, like, actually, like, you hanging out with us. Yeah, Wait. yeah, and yeah. she uh, encouraged me to she, actually do my half marathon too. I know she motivated you. Oh, I, I, I saw that. She, I don't like being motivated. 
That was accountability. I like right to be there. put down like a do- like a like a, like a dirty dog, like an old dog. I want to be mm. put down. I like him. You. I have dirty. to know because look, listen. Some people get motivation different ways. Truly, that's I need true. to be put down, spit, burnt, shot, everything. Mm, that's time I tried to do that on you, Herbert. Handcuffs, you, rope. You decided to just sleep on me. No, he didn't no, sleep on me. It was we decided. <laughs> So, uh, no, not, like, it's just different. I think you like to be sweet talked. I think so too. I think yeah, you like, like to be sweet talking, sweet. Someone to give you a kiss in the cheek or something. <laughs> I would like that actually. <laughs> <laughs> like the only reason why I know that you like to be sweet talk is because last time on the hike, you brought a teddy bear, and I was like, okay, this his mom probably gave it to him. It was a and monkey, she, or First whatever it was. It was still like a monkey, but your mom gave it to you. And like bit, Curious George. Actually, funny thing is, I did get. You lost him. No, he's still around. Mm. Like here's George, he's still around. Wait, are you gonna take him? To him you should take him running to your um to your half marathon. Just have him in your backpack. You're gonna get a no, not in your pocket. Just here. choke him out when I feel agitated. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> no, you <laughs> should take it when you run though, froze. When your first marathon or half marathon, sorry. Where would I carry it? Oh yeah, I need to get back? a backpack. I need to get a backpack. That's right. I do need to get one. And oh, also, uh, real quick, uh, since he's talking about buying something, can, shopping. can you make it quick though? Oh, sorry. I, sorry, myself for saying real quick, but uh, REI, though, I, I won't make it quick, actually. Uh, uh, so the RE, REI, if you guys are members, well, guess dividends. what? Your dividends came in. Your dividends. What that means is you got 10% of what you spent, and it shows you what you spent. So I want to actually imagine, like, us post those to see who spends them more, but I, I don't know. I got, like, 50 bucks back. So I kind of cheated on mine, and I stole Herbert's money. I mean, I, st- I stole Herbert Herbert's re- rewards, I guess, if that's how you want to look at it. It's yours. I appre- Enjoy now, it. If anyone's going to have my money, I'm glad it's you. Enjoy Truly. those Aww. dividends, buddy. I'm Wait, uh, them on drugs. But you're a member now, <laughs> Herbert, right? I uh, recently became a member, yeah. I think so. we all have memberships there now, no? Yeah. So did he get uh, money back? No. Oh, sorry. Because uh, I didn't buy anything. Oh, okay. Well, after you became a member, now you're going to start buying more, right? 100%. Wait, what's already. your next purchase? Oh, your money vest. I'm going to get a backpack. And that's kind of it. All I want right now, maybe some some apparel, but because I like the shirts there. But that's it. I think you like the baddies merch. It's coming out. I'm not buying that. Why not? Because <laughs> I'll just take it. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, uh, we're working on the on the website real quick. I'm just giving you guys the tips, but we're working on the website. It's already in progress. Like we're gonna drop it like next week and a half max, and then uh, you start purchasing your baddies merch. Yeah, yeah, men's and women's, and you, you know, got you shirts know. and tank tops. Yes, and um, is it be nice? Um, I want, and then if you come to our hikes, you better be wearing our gear, and I think we might be selling some in our <laughs> in our car, right? Like out of yeah. the car? Yeah, no, 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 like uh, uh, hikes. Like oh, you know, yeah. how people ask. Like, I'm hey. actually thinking about like stopping like at the exit of a freeway. Or is gonna <laughs> start? Gonna s- do yeah, that. get get the lote man's like little horn. Maybe start selling uh, strawberries too. Yeah, you never there know. There you go. Strawberry in a shirt. Yeah, two, two for one. Damn, that that's on top. What I sell? Can I sell myself? No, you can't. No, no, no. That's, baddies, why not? That's not a two for one. We only do baddie can I be on the website. Can I be on the website? <laughs> no, we only do uh, rent. What did rent a baddie? Rent a baddie. We only do that oh. once a year. Yeah, so we yeah, put yeah. it. We have to have insurance for the rent a baddie. Yeah, I got hurt last time. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, my bad. <laughs> we did. <laughs> we did <laughs> a test run Someone bought me and like you know. I someone, thought I got full coverage. Someone used you too much. I didn't, I didn't know what they wanted me for until I, I put so many miles on Enrique. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, was, it was it was stressful. Dan, no wonder he was all tired last year. Hey, <laughs> but, uh, at the end no, of the year, you know, for real, you did good. Like, not a lot of screaming, not a lot of like, oh, I don't <laughs> want to do that. Resisting. There was That's a couple horrible. of resist. <laughs> 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 hey, but the money—if the money's right, let's be honest. So, <laughs> real quick, <laughs> wait—you didn't pay me. <laughs> so, real quick, have you guys have you guys been lately to the to the gym? Yeah, I went today in the morning. Nice. I've been going. No, sure. Ronnie, I went like last week. But you're not being consistent, huh? No, no, yeah, I've been going here and there. Okay. I kind of want to start though. Like, I want to start. Going are, are you are you the are you the type of guy that starts off at, at the end of the year? <laughs> yeah, kind of get a late start. That's no, cool. which first of all, I, I think Jonathan mentioning that you guys need to stop waiting for New Year's to start off your New Year resolutions. I would highly recommend you guys have new month resolutions. You know what I mean? Keep tabs on your life a little more often, and trust me, you'll see the 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 progression and the growth mm-hmm. happening to you. And I noticed yeah, like yeah. just consistency, consistency. We always say this word, and it's, it's my like, favorite word. I'm probably gonna get that everything. tatted. I'm yeah. gonna get that tatted in my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, yeah. yeah but I, I've been going down. I kind of want to like until like my knee gets better. It really is oh hurt. God, here it hurts, you know. But just, I want to work out upper legs. Body. Dude. Just do upper body. No, yeah, I've been doing upper body like every time I go. It's either like chest, back, or arms, and I switch switch off again. You should start working on your neck. So we sw- so maybe we should uh, switch to another podcast host. Does your knee hurt right now? 
It's hurting. How about you leave? How about you? <laughs> <laughs> no, go, uh, go to no. San Jose. well, actually, <laughs> a good thing that you're talking about your knee or anything like that, because we do have other friends that are getting injured or not injured. They have like, some discomfort like or something. Yeah. yeah like I think you, uh, Kristen. Kristen no? yeah, yeah. Kristen. Well, thank you guys for what happening. Her her? No, but um, she, um, I think her knee too. I think it's, I, I don't know if it's because they're running or what it is, but you do got to pay attention to your body. Listen to your body. Uh, make sure that if it's something bad, like go to see the doctor. Don't be scared of the doctor. Yeah. They might not, they might tell you not to like go hike with the baddies cause they're like too bad, but Hey, take, take a break from us. Like we'll still be here. Yeah, right? the last thing we want is some long term like health problems. Yeah, like honest. we want to support you here. Like we are pushing you to your limits, like a lot of people like reaching peaks, but we mm-hmm. also want to make sure that you're healthy. Yeah. You know? Like you could be like I don't know, like a hundred years old and still like doing peaks. That is true. With the baddies. I don't know. I feel like us like being young and stuff, like well, I don't know. When do you guys go to the doctor? Like once a year? Manual checkup? Shit. I haven't gone. Since. I haven't gone. I haven't gone in a while, dude. Last time I did part, like, uh, yeah, it wasn't a while. But like, you know what? We'll keep we'll keep it accountable. Was the whole um, your physical when you're in sports? Mm. You know how you go and then oh, like yeah. you do your whole physical like yeah. as, as a you know as a man or whatever. But I think that's like what held me accountable. But you know what we should do? I think we should do some baddie check checkups. Yeah, man. I think we need to. We'll I actually do, recently uh, applied for. For a different health insurance, you could apply for a colonoscopy with the baddies. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> actually, that's all we do, to be honest. That's no, all we no. have uh, approval for. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, yeah, you, uh, like health is important, though, for us. Like yeah. straight up, being serious on the serious note, health is health is important. Watch what you eat, though, because mm. um, yeah, you can have cheat days, <clears> but <throat> make sure that you you give your body what it needs, like the nutrition, so you could perform at your peak. Um, I, I think most of us here drink protein yes, right i do or we eat pretty good i'm assuming I, yeah i don't i don't control my diet but i'm definitely keeping track of it like i'm actively aware of what i'm eating and i try to eat what i think i need you know for the day specifically but um i don't, I don't specifically like i'm not crazy about eat too much of this too little of that but I'm, I'm fully aware of my diet wait uh herbert since you've been losing weight right is that has to do a lot because of your diet or is it because you're like more more work more active? Um, well, ever since he became boat, famous, I think like, he's like working out now. Or did he get like a, some some procedure done? <laughs> no, he got circumcised. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> could the baddies pay for a BBL or no? Wait, <laughs> no, we don't what? Can't pay for that. <laughs> no, Maybe. but um, <laughs> in all honesty, uh, I just eat less and work out more. That's it. Like it's very simple. Like, Wait. I, before you see, like, tell, tell us how you see it before. Because uh, what do you mean by last? Do you really want me to go into detail when I, okay. Transparency, so, 30 well, seconds, go. Yeah, what was you like your daily diet? Go. All right, so uh, I do remember a specific day when I was in my peak fat, um, when I was 270, right? Right Three, after high school. 300 pounds. Three, sure, it was <laughs> rounded up. Rounded up, rounded up, Um The thing is, when you're that oh, that weight and you don't stop, it's it's a, it's it's because it's, it's a routine. So I just ate. Because I was bored or because I could. That's it. Like to be honest. Either because I could or I was bored. Um, there was a specific day I remember this when I, I I still really feel bad about this is when <laughs> I got two burritos. Uh, I when I went to um school, um I had to walk home because I didn't have a car on my first like two two months of college. And I there was an Alberto's on the way back home. And I got a burrito and I walked home and ate it, right? Damn. But then on my way home, there was another fast food chain. And guess what? Guess what I did? I got something else. Oh, my God. I got more. And yeah, dude, that was, and then I got more and I got a whole ass meal. And then I got home and I ate it. And then I, I looked at myself because I had to go to the restroom because, you know, when you're that disgusting, <laughs> you're constantly in the restroom. So I remember I finished. I looked at myself I was like, this has got to stop. Like this, <laughs> this is, It got scary for you. Or this what? is not good no, because I was tired. Like yeah. when you're that overweight you're just tired because you're just eating like tired makes you i'm serious like it's bad we can answer that with science because all all the all the fat you eat and all the sugars all all the excessive things in your body is it's what makes you lazier and that's why you're working out is is healthy for you not because you're trying to look be all muscular like all healthy you don't have to do crazy stuff but yeah and it's 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 a weird thing because when i was in that mindset it was just normal but then you start to feel bad. Like it's, 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 it's like not, not to, yeah, it's just, you'll feel bad. And I think when you eat healthy, you feel like your brain doesn't feel that foggy. You feel like more clear. Like you're you, not as tired. You're, you're not, not as tired. Not you as have fatigued. more energy. And then, um, 
Yeah. Wait, so was that the time that you, when you texted me, you're like, hey, we, bro, like we should start the baddies, like, because I feel fat. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, I think when I, we started the baddies, I was, I was already in transition in losing weight. Um, and then, you know, uh, joining the baddies and starting that um, helped me lo- lose it even, yeah, even more. I think when I started the baddies, I was like at 230. So over over the past three years, I lost like another forty pounds. Yeah, damn, that's good. Yeah. And you're yeah, holding dude. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a lifestyle, man. Like it's just a routine. Like once you starting at the habit of eating less and not eating like a you know garbage person, it just it just. Okay, I have a question then. Sure. So then, since whatever reasons you had for for eating like that, whether whether it was for fun, for pleasure, just for just because like you got the craving for the food. What helped you specifically overcome that mindset so you can get into that more, like you're saying, I'm eating healthier now, it's easier. But that little transition, it's what's very difficult for people. So what helped you specifically change from eating like that to realizing that maybe you should fix your diet a little bit? Um, I just, like, not to, I mean, it's very simple, man. Like, I just felt, like, I was kind of, like, depressed. Like, I was felt bad because I looked at myself as, like, what the fuck what's going on like i just kept gaining weight and weight and i was like i felt i daily i kept feeling bad and um i just didn't want to feel bad anymore that's that's it's very simple and also um i wanted uh to like you know i wanted to uh get a girlfriend and stuff so <laughs> i knew yeah. you, you remembered your single <laughs> <laughs> yes i remembered um you know yeah the honestly is very simple you just feel bad and that's why i i mentioned that um i sometimes need to feel like a dirty dog to, to motivate mm-hmm. myself. I like sometimes the, the it, it's nice to hear when people say, Oh, good job. Da, 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 but I'm a little different. I need to be like beat down. Like, Hey bro, you're looking, you're looking husky. You're looking like good, that? dude. See, yeah, please tell me, tell me I look disgusting. Like, I want to throw what you in the what trash. What if I find you attractive? Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I'm just saying like in my head, it's a little, di- it, it's wait, weird. It's probably like this, this wait, hold on, mental Herbert. thing, but what head though? The one that Both? thinks. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Which one? Which one does the thinking? <laughs> Actually, that. <laughs> let's be honest. The little uh, both both played a part in my uh, transition. Let's be honest. No, but I'm happy for you though. Like I'm happy like, you. that you're able to overcome that because it is hard. And it's. I remember a lot of friends of ours. They always say like, "Hey, I want to go to the gym," and I tell them like, "Come on, join us," you know, mm-hmm. and give it two months. They find that they start losing whatever they wanted, but then they go back to their normal. Like life, like they're like, hey, I'm going to start cheating on my diet again or I might just take a break because I feel tired. But uh, there's some days I, I'm going to be honest with you that there's some days I don't want to go to the gym. But then when I get there and I finish and I leave, I feel like accomplished, like, man, like think like whatever, you know, think. And, and I think it goes back to the word consistency, because I feel like a lot of people have that misconception where like they, they have too high expectations of fitness. They think eating one salad for the week and like one workout for the week is like. You're going to lose 30 pounds and stuff. It's like, no, like it, like do your homework a little bit, go on YouTube or Google, learn a little bit about fitness or don't be shy and ask the baddies. The baddies would be more than happy to answer these questions, but be, have realistic expectations about what gym is like and stop thinking about like going every day. And like Jonathan said, just be consistent, be consistent, just show up, do the work. It doesn't have to be crazy hard, but just show up and do the work. And you don't get the gains overnight. Like you don't like we've been working on it. I've been working on it for a while. So when people say like, oh man, like you look good. Like, what did he do? I tell him like, look, I've been hitting the gym since like high school. I, had, I did take some time off when I went to college because I was busy with school, but then I came back at it. Right. Uh, and then now like it's a lifestyle. Now I actually treat it as a lifestyle. Now, like if I have to study, I got to do what I got to do. Like I make sure I have, I set a schedule. And I want to like say some other thing and why I changed my you know, quote unquote life is um I started rank, like hanging around different people because um i used to be like a hardcore gamer and when you do that you kind of just stagnant and um you know when jonathan you know and everybody else came into my life i really started to show like oh i guess there's something else i can do and it i think i also want to say yeah surround yourself with good people and then you'll start to feed off their energy and feed off their good vibes and everything or surround yourself with the baddies that's why we always like at our in our instagram bio it says uniting all people and what does that mean is that we're here to unite. I don't care what sport you do, what fitness activity you do, but I promise you, if you tell us what you do, 
we probably do the. I'm not saying we do every single thing because, you know, we don't have that much time. But we're open minded and we'll join you. We'll help you get reach your own fitness goals. And even if we have to, we'll sometimes even help you with with if it's swimming or running or whatever. Like we'll, we'll do an event with you just to motivate you and help you. Um, I'm not saying we're going to be there every day for you, but I mean, like through social media, yes, every day. But like we're, we're willing to help you guys be inspired and reach your goals. And I think that's sometimes that's what you need. A little bit of inspiration, you know? Yeah. The little, the little push, you know? Yeah, it's a, it's a, like even like there's a lot of addictive su- like substances out there in the world, but one of the thing is I realize that people like being around good people and being around like seeing them smile and s- s- saying they have a good time is it's also addictive. Like when when I <laughs> that's why I like to pass out snacks when they say oh thank you and I see like a little big old I see their white little pearly teeth I like I feel I get a little high you know, <laughs> head high Aww. yeah I go, no yeah. like that's it's cute. Cute. it's like you get like you feel their happiness yeah. and like it transfers over to you. And, and I, and I think, um, I'm not saying you have to be happy every day. You know, everybody goes through ups and downs and we talked about mm-hmm. this before, but, uh, Hey, you know what? Like everybody, whatever you guys are going through, like we're here for you. And like, we're here to be like your mentors or whatever you name it. Like we don't, you can open up to us if you want, you don't, if you don't want, it's fine, you know? But, uh, yeah, like I think giving someone, it's crazy. Cause I, I, I noticed that though. When I'm work, let's say if I go to work somewhere, if I go to the field or somewhere like, and it's really hot, and literally someone just asked me like, "You want water? You want something like that? Water? Like, how can I explain? Like, it it's like it's simple, like it's just water. But it's a big gesture. But it's like, damn, like, like I'm down to take it, and then you drinking, like, man, this is the best water, but it's not. But <laughs> yeah, you know dude, I mean? like you realize like over time, like the little things, count. the little things is is what count and what like really like sets aside like sets aside a person and it, it's, it's good to see i think it kind of builds you into a better path too because i, I think it kind of builds a habit to like like to do good and like start f- finishing the job that you started type of stuff that's why everyone always jokes around with like like you should have a clean room or you, you, you should make your bed every morning it's not because you should make your bed every morning that's not like the argument for it it's because when you accomplish a small thing that makes you happy that's either good for you or good for the world or good for someone you love then that it kind of like it, it gives you, like you're saying, that little high of, like, I accomplished something. I finished a task. I am capable of doing this. And then you move on to the next task with the same mindset. And if you don't have that many little tasks to accomplish from every day, then it's harder for you to stay happy or optimistic for the day. And I think a lot of people struggle with that where they don't do enough in the day. And you can you can do a lot in the day. And, and like Herbert says, you, he gives out snacks, and it's enough to make you happy. Yeah, like it's interesting. Really it's interesting when you think about that. Like, there's so much going on in the world. Like, a little bit of joy, a little bit of happiness, yeah. a smile, yeah. a nice gesture. Like, it can really go a long oh. way. <laughs> Today, I actually, you know what? Like, I, 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 I didn't really tell you guys this, but um, I started giving people compliments. Like, no way. Like you every, never gave me a compliment. You always just say I look like shit. Like, you always trying to get underneath my skin. What? Her, you do look like shit though. Well, you're. <laughs> you know, to be honest, I think you should feel bad. No, right. no, no, like I, I honestly, I, I made this little goal for myself. Like today, I actually, bef- when I, before I came to the podcast, I went to a store and I, I told this lady, oh, I, I really like your tattoos. And I, I saw her little smile. I was like, oh my God, I probably just, I don't know. It's just, it's just really nice. To, like, it's mm-hmm. really nice. And like <clears throat> the thing I wanted to add to, uh, add from Enrique's point is these small things eventually lead to a bigger thing. And like, I think I, I it's, it's hard to sometimes step back because you look at this big goal and you have to realize that this big goal takes small steps and then you'll get there eventually. And that's, that's, that's why that's like strong words right there, dude. Like it's basically, you're saying that even related, you could relate this to anything, anything. So like take smart, small goals to reach whatever goal, like your big goal. Right. And also your dreams come true. So I'm so fighting for my dreams, but I, I think it goes around kind of like with everything we're saying, like, like I'm not saying get rid of your friends or find new friends. Uh, to, or to replace your old friends but i'm saying like you, you do become the average of your friends and, and and really think about what that means like if you hang out with a specific group you become the average and, and if you think about it compare yourself to your friends or your family and you are the average in beliefs and actions and habits and disciplines you're the average of that which is why we always encourage like either hang out with the baddies will motivate you or like find a- add more people to your circle that have challenging perspectives than what you have so they encourage you to be better whether it's fitness and education and what i, mean, I don't know politics like-minded people. like just like-minded people that want to grow because mm-hmm. the more of those people the more positive vibes and like herbert says the more nice gestures that are encouraged and when that happens the entire world wins so basically um if you're listening to this podcast go on your phone go on the apps block a couple of people 
No, 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 no. Go on your phone. Fuck us. No, go on, go on your phone right now and go on the app store and download LinkedIn if you don't have LinkedIn. No, I'm being serious. Uh, you could start Is this a sponsored podcast. No, it's not a sponsored podcast. But um, dude, networking. I, I'm actually right now. I'm, I'm not. I'm not too active on LinkedIn, but I try to be as active as I can for the same reasons. Like I, I treat LinkedIn like that one friend. Like I treat it like a, like a real person friend where like, again, I'm trying to become that average. I need to get better at networking. I need to meet people in my field. I need to do et cetera, et cetera, et cetera to network. And I'm trying to be more involved in LinkedIn because that's where all the professional or, or that's where people display their professional background, their, their disciplines, their resumes, the, what they accomplish, where they work. And so like, if you get better at, if, if you're good at Instagram, you should try to be more connected to LinkedIn and meet people. Trust me, there are like-minded people like you out there, but whatever your field is, whether it's law a, a engineer science or a poly, whatever, whatever your major is in business, you will find like-minded people. And I, and I think that's so important to network. Trust me, you, your life can change forever. If you just make a good friend out of someone out there. So true. And what I also want to add is try to find people that are like, like not to make the simple, but better than you, like in any, in whatever you're trying to like be better at, try to look at someone's like, Oh, look what they're doing. Because I think also at the, at the heart of it, you have to make some sense of like competition within yourself and within but a person. healthy way, a healthy way. Well, yeah, well, of course, of course. But you have to look at, I don't know. I, I just, I just feel like it's a good, it's a, it's a good motivator to see it's like, Oh, look what I can do. Look what, look, maybe I can do this. Maybe I can do that. Whatever it may be, education, fitness. I don't know. Well, part of, part of what I was saying about that, were like, like you're trying to increase the average of your friends or like in, get better friends. I, th I think kind of with what you're saying, it's important to acknowledge the people in your life and, and like their placement. I'm not saying compare yourself to people, but it's important for, to have people beneath you because being able to teach and, and I, I beneath you sounds horrible, but I mean like someone that you're just a little better in some ways because teaching someone something is so important to the learning process. Be able to teach people how to be better and in their own life and then have people at your same level so you can compete with them. You know, you both have similar goals and you compete. So have different friends in that area. And like Herbert said, have people that are above you. And I mean like above you as far as you can make them above you, more successful, more, more into fitness, more into their career, whatever you want to reach as a goal, have those people from beneath you at your same level and at a higher level than you. And that kind of average is, is unstoppable in this world. You will make your dreams come true if you find that average. And then uh, also it's, it's you versus you sometimes like you got to compete True. against yourself. Yeah. Don't compete yeah. against someone else. Cause everybody, there's always going to be someone better than you. Uh, but at the end of the day, love yourself and compete against yourself and make yourself better. And then, and love yourself before you could, you know, love someone else. You know, this is pretty deep, but no, no, no that's so true. And I think like, at least from my perspective, if you feel bad about something about yourself, if you're sad, I think you should really try to pinpoint what that is. And, and really try to dig deep in why you're feeling the way you are and then just try to change it. And then honestly, just make it a, uh, uh, objective to try to change it. Not just like, Oh, I know this about myself. Oh, da, da, da. no, really. If you're trying to change, like, just, just do it. I, and I think that's why Nike's logo, Nike's, uh, Nike's logo is so, it's so, um, like, a, I don't know what the it's cheesy, but it's perfect. No, but it's, it's, it's so simple, but it's so true at the same time. Just, do it because you know the things you should change about yourself you just don't do it but just just do it yeah they, they always say that it's super difficult to have conversations with yourself and some conversations can get very uncomfortable with yourself because obviously it's stuff that you're you you're you're insecure about which is why you struggle even like mm -hmm. if someone calls you out on on some stuff it's why you get mad it's why you respond defensive because they're, they're kind of calling you out but you're, you're too like defensive to acknowledge that but that's why herbert says like talk to yourself like have these uncomfortable conversations how come you really don't go to the gym is it really true that you don't have time is it really true it's for money is it really true it's for whatever reason you have dig deep in those thoughts and you're going to realize that you know what like i'm not convinced i think i believe this but it's not true talk to yourself and you'll find out you, you'll get to know yourself a lot better mm, does my knee really hurt <laughs> <laughs> well you hey, find you find ways well, around and that. it's yeah. also it's also it, no it's also on your on your head though i'm being serious if you talk to successful hey people, which one no, sorry. No. <laughs> no if you if you if you talk to successful people you know sometimes when you wake up you tell yourself like i'm gonna go to, i'm gonna go to the gym in the morning and then you wake up and you snooze your alarm that's it you're done like you gotta just get up like yeah don't dude. even think about it just get up small yeah. goals though small goals exactly what he's saying that can sound like a big thing for you like oh no i'm completely against that but start small yeah. make possible and realistic 
progress for that. You're not going to wake up to the alarm immediately overnight just because you thought about it today. Like start with like if you normally snooze for 30 minutes, try snoozing for 15 minutes and wake up. Make it a goal for like a week or even a month. Don't be shy on the time frame. It's whatever works for you. And after after you reach that goal, try not to snooze for 10 minutes, then five minutes, and then try not to snooze at all. And you slowly progress to reaching that goal. And again, it just it just comes down to thinking about it, to being active on it, to really reaching and trying to meet these goals that you have. Yeah, and, and it's so true. But I think it's also you have to acknowledge that you're going to be uncomfortable and and just live with being uncomfortable. Live with being anxious because just push through it. And if you're anxious, just go through it. Like like today when I try to make that compliment, I, I my first initial thought was like, oh, don't do it. Why would you want to do it? Why you might make her uncomfortable, but just do it. Just do it. Like yeah. just live just with it. being uncomfortable. Like even when I try, um, I mean, this is another thing. Try stand up for the first time. Stand first up, time. Stand up, right? Stand up. stand up for the first time. I wasn't comfortable the whole time. I was anxious. I was nervous, but just just live with it. Live with being nervous. Let's just let's Life's do better it that way. Yeah. Well, change is good though, right? Yeah, change, true. Like Very true. just change your habits and and that if you're comfortable wherever you at, even at work, you might need to change. And that change could be good. And that could lead you. You know how a lot of people say like, oh, I don't want to promote myself or I don't want to mm-hmm. go up like to a manager or whatever. I don't want to do that because uh, it's too much work, blah, blah, blah. All these excuses. But at the end of the day, I bet you anything, if you could do that. And it also goes back to when people say like, why why can't he do that? Can I do that? Like, yeah, anybody could do that. Like, if I could run a 50K, then you could probably run a 50K. Yeah, you might need more training because everybody's body is different. But it, it just set your goals. And, and understand that you're human as much as a don't compare genetics or, or like race or anything crazy that like completely really isn't like reasonable when it comes to your own goals. Understand that we're all human in this world from the smartest person alive. He was a human to the dumbest person. He was a human. The the, the most successful. They're all humans. Guy, girl, whatever they are. Bad, like, bun, bad like, bunny, baby. They're all human. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. we all have the same capability that I think once that sinks in a little bit, we're like the most successful people. Like, remember, guys, they're not aliens. They're also humans. We all have this potential. You just have to know how to find it. They just have different habits. And exactly. Different habits, different so friends, different circles. Everybody has their own goals. So reach your goals. Do what you got to do. And let's get this ball moving. I know it's 2022. It's moving by fast. But guess what? It's never too late to change. Uh, and you know, when people say like, oh, like, I don't want to go back to school because it's like, it's going to take me three years. Well, guess what? Those three years are still going to pass by. And if you do it, if you don't. Those three, I mean, serious. Those Might three as years. well get there and be happy, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm again, transparency. I'm 20. How old am I? 20, seven. 27. Six. About to be 27. I don't Jesus, even know that. You're old, bitch. I, I, you know what? I'm, I, whatever age I am, though, I am a little behind when it comes to like the, the average people that go to college, but I'm, I'm still not giving up. I'm still going to college. I'm trying to get my degree. So, I, I want you guys to also be motivated by that. You know what I mean? Like, like you can do it too. Like I'm going to get my degree out. by like 29 or 30. <laughs> but after out. I get my degree though, I, I have full faith that I will be happier in life. I will be a thousand times happier, more successful, yeah. more, more loved, more, more everything, everything, everything. And it's worth it. It's completely worth it. Yeah. yeah. Things take time, man. Things take time. Sadly. And yeah, sadly they take time, but guess what? Um, I think we're out of time. We're out of time. <laughs> is this our time? Yeah, yeah, but we're gonna yeah we're gonna drop off, guys. Uh, we'll you know resume on all this conversation, great conversation that we had uh, on the podcast. But like I always say, thank you for the three thousand followers that we've been having. That you has been staying active with us, posting us, reposting us. Like if you literally, if you're running and you want us to like mm-hmm. hold you accountable or working out, repost us, yeah. and we'll we we'll make sure like we won't even tell you like hey you might be doing it wrong or then you're killing it. Uh, but we will say it because from a bottom of our heart, we want to help you. Mm-hmm. We don't just want to like, you know, break you down, but it, there's sometimes that uh, you need help, you know, and I don't want you guys to be paying out there for this help. Like you guys could get her free. So we're here for you. So why not just ask us? Uh, so thank you guys for listening to us. Like I said, we love you. Every single one of you that listens to us. Uh, we're on Spotify, Apple podcasts and on YouTube and just keep on liking and subscribing and everything guys. We're here for y'all.